Have you ever wondered how one of these airbags work? An airbag is used to prevent your head from hitting a steering wheel in a crash. Now the way an airbag system works is you've got these crash sensors that sit on the front of the car that tell the SRS computer that the vehicle has crashed and then the computer sends a 12 volt signal out to the inflator that sits behind the airbag. Now inside this inflator we've got a chemical reaction of sodium azide that decomposes into nitrogen gas really rapidly and that's what fills the airbag cushioning your head from impacting the steering wheel. So here we've got an airbag out of a Honda, it's already been exploded. This was subjected to one of the famous Takata airbag recalls. So I'm going to take it apart and show you how it works inside. Now airbags come in all shapes and sizes including side torso airbags for the outboard seats as well as curtain airbags from the roof. Now the Takata airbag recall was to recall these inflators because they would explode with too much force and that'll cause shrapnel to come through the airbag and into your face and that could cause death or even worse injury. So this here is your airbag assembly. This whole entire thing acts as a horn switch so if you turn it over here you'll see that this u-shaped bracket on the bottom is your contact pad for the horn and if you squish it in it makes contact like that. There's three points of contact one here, one over here, and one over here. So on the back here we've got these two connectors that go to your electrical connection for the charge to explode it. I'm just gonna remove that and then you can pull the wires out individually like that. The next thing I'm going to do is remove this airbag inflator from the airbag assembly. So there are four tamper proof nuts here. I'm just going to use a vice grip. There's a special tool you can use to get these off but I'm just using a vice grip to wind these out. I can then remove the airbag inflator from the airbag assembly by carefully lifting it off the studs. And that's it right there. Now this airbag inflator is pretty much like a bomb. When you apply a charge here, it actually explodes the sodium iodide inside, which produces a nitrogen gas very rapidly and it escapes through these holes to fill the airbag. Now this assembly looks like it's been fused together at the factory, so I'm not going to open it. But this is where your serial number is that you can check to see if this airbag is covered under a recall. Now by the way, it's just the airbag inflator that's replaced during the recall. They're not actually replacing the entire airbag assembly. So this here's the rest of the airbag. You can see how it's folded up in there. I'm just going to remove these tabs here where it hooks onto the housing. And then now I'm going to come in with a Phillips screwdriver and remove the three screws that have the spring on them for the pivot of the horn switch. And that's what that looks like. So now that all the Phillips screws are removed, I have to remove the plastic outside tabs, which are these tabs on the outside here, just using a screwdriver. And now I'm going to pull this frame out with the airbag and that reveals the airbag and the airbag cover. And this here is your airbag cover. Now normally this would be sealed but on the back here you can see that there's a score line where the airbag is supposed to explode like this. And now I'm going to remove the frame of the airbag and that reveals the actual bag itself. It's not folded up properly because this airbag has been exploded before. Alright now I'm just going to remove this white piece from the top and that reveals the actual bag itself. The whole entire airbag is really held on by these four studs. So this here is roughly the size of the airbag when it's inflated. If you turn it over on the back here, you'll see that there's these two vent holes to vent all of the nitrogen gases out a couple of seconds after it's inflated so the driver can regain control of the vehicle after collision. Now the airbag is actually made of this really strong nylon woven material that can withstand the heat and the explosion of the airbag. So this is pretty much all the components that make up the airbag. It's definitely a device that can save your life, kill you, or maybe even injure you. So make sure you get your airbag recall done. One quick tip, never take apart an airbag that hasn't been exploded yet because this is pretty much a ticking time bomb.